Welcome to Technology FAQ. I'm Hirok and today I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful animated login UI with HTML and pure CSS. So let's begin. I'm using code pen but you can use any text editor you want like sublime text or VS code. So let's write the HTML first. Then inside the body we'll uh, create a div with container class then inside that we'll create a div with logo class after that uh, a h1 element and we'll write welcome then for that a h2 element says login then we'll create a form and let's leave the action as default then we'll create, we'll create an input element type text and place holder will be equal to username then autocomplete of then there will be another input element uh, type password in the placeholder will be equal to password next we'll create a button and the text inside it uh, type will be submit and okay so this is the basic HTML layout and then now we'll move on to CSS I'm using a Google font called Source Sans Pro and let's import it. Now let's do some basic reset. Uh, Font color will be white. Now, uh, now HTML. Now for the body, justify one thirty five degree eighty nine. For the container class, we will be padding 6 RAM, 2 RAM, then uh, display of grid, align content, align content will be center. For the form element, we will display of display grid. Then uh, justify item center row cap 1.5 gram. We will design the input and the button element. Font size 1.1 gram. Padding will be 0 0.75 for the top and bottom and 1.5 gram for left and right and background color will be then color text color will be a little bit of transparency text align Center and border will be none. Now let's get a border radius of 2 rand. 
Now let's change the color of the placeholder. We'll say input. Input placeholder. Color will be F F F F T. Text align center. Sorry. Text line will be center. Then letter spacing zero. Now let's see. For the password, let's put some letter spacing. So we'll say input. Type password, input type password, and letter spacing will be 0 0.11. Okay, as you can see, it is a little bit spaced now. Okay. Uh, next will be input focus on focus. Text line will be left. So now it is center. If we focus it, the text will go to the left. Okay. Now, now let's design the button. Margin top will be one rem to increase the space here. And the padding is zero point seven five rem for top and bottom, and two point five rem for left and right. Text text align center background color will be white and the text color B C three seven five C and font weight will bold the pointer let's change the pointer when we hover over it so it's a cursor pointer transition we'll apply the transition to background or background color only will be 0 0.4 seconds now we'll go to button hover little bit of white bit transparency so, so this is the effect then let's style the h1 element text line center margin bottom to the bottom 3.5 gram Now bottom bottom slope bottom okay. now let's design the h2 element for the h2 we say text align center margin 3.5 gram 0.5 gram now oh, the margin is too much let's remove the margin from h1 element now it looks right then uh, We'll design the logo logo class margin zero for the top auto for left and right and one ramp for the bottom the position will be relative with three ramp height three ramp and background color okay now let's add the other two elements we'll use uh, the pseudo elements Say content bank position absolute position absolute then uh, left zero right zero height not right sorry bottom height will be eighty percent and width will also be 80% background color then the next pseudo element everything will be same so let's copy it just this one will be right we are good to go now let's add some border radius to them uh, see logo border radius 0.2 then 
now let's copy it okay then now all of the element has this body radius now let's do the animation now let's say at keyframes at keyframes uh, we'll say let's give it a name of appear and inside that say from opacity 0 and transform translate z translate y to m to let's copy it opacity 1 and uh, this will be translate will be 0 now let's apply this animation to our form and logo animation appear one second forwards now let it let's add it to the container okay now let's uh, animate our uh, this logo here at keyframes logo one and say from transform rotate z will be zero degree to transform rotate minus 19 degree let's add it to the before pseudo element so animation logo one then uh, we'll do the same for the other pseudo element frame logo 2 but here is a problem uh, transform origin so transform origin origin left bottom okay. and for this one for logo after we have to say transform origin left right button okay it looks perfect so as you can see it's responsive and uh, now let's add a border for larger screen sizes so we'll say so let's use a media query Mean with our 426 pixels the border will be 2 pixels solid and will be white with transparency a lot of transparency okay that's perfect so for smaller screens the border will not appear so that's it guys i hope you like it and if you enjoyed it make sure to like share and subscribe see you later